Today, we're going to make the best hummus you'll ever have, guaranteed. What you do is you start out with just your basic garbanzo beans. I got these at Aldi. You can get them, Trader Joe's or whatever, and you drain them. I take and drain and rinse them. I've tried it both ways. I've tried it leaving the liquid in the garbanzo beans, but it, there's something about it that it doesn't come out as good. I don't know why, but it doesn't. So uh, I substitute it. I substitute it with water. If we need more liquid, we add filtered water. Then we're going to take two lemons, two full peeled lemons, believe it or not, and throw them in there and we're going to give that a go a little bit in your food processor and it will break the lemon down alright now you see how it's getting stiff okay we're going to add some water That's good enough. That's good enough for right now because we're going to add the rest of the ingredients. If we need more water, we'll add more water. Okay, so you got two lemons. Uh, we've got six tablespoons of tahini. This is uh, sesame seed broke down like peanut butter, right? Mixed with six tablespoons of olive oil. And I don't use anything fancy. I don't get the the EVO. You can you can use that if you want. I just use the inexpensive off-the-shelf regular olive oil. Uh, now we're going to throw in five or six garlics, peeled garlic, and we're going to add uh, six tablespoons of lemon juice. And I put that in there uh, just to have it ready. A tablespoon, tablespoon of sea salt. We're going to put in one tablespoon of restaurant style coarse ground black pepper one teaspoon of cumin uh, next we're going to put in a tablespoon of cayenne pepper if you're not real big on heat uh, you, you may want to leave that out or you could put in like half the amount and if you like a lot of heat crank it up this is smoked paprika um, really adds to the flavor. This is, in my opinion, this is probably the most important ingredient we're putting into this tahini is the smoked paprika. As far as the flavor goes, it really brings it along. We're going to go ahead and run this so that we can get our water content right. And that extra, that extra blast just gets it nice and smooth. And then the last thing we're going to do is throw in two, I just sliced up these jalapenos. Two whole jalapenos, just sliced so that they'll break down easier. But we don't want to run that for a real long time once the jalapenos are in there. Because, because you want them, you want them pieces in there, you see, you don't want you don't want the jalapeno completely obliterated. You want them little pieces in there. You see them little surprises when you're when you're working on it. And you get in there and you get that surprise piece of jalapeno, and that's it. I'm telling you, this is the best. This is the best hummus you'll ever make right here.